this afternoon I'm going to paint this little vase that's white with a white background. So the challenge here will be to, of course, get my um, object to appear to be white without, I won't be able to use a lot of white sticks um, because I'm going to need to save the whitest white that I have in my array of uh, pastels for the very um, light highlights. So that, that's going to be the challenge. But in this little vase, I do see a, a lot of color. There's a lot of beautiful, subtle color. There's blues and purples and some even some greens kind of bouncing around in it. So um, it's kind of kind of fun and kind of challenging. So I'm I'm not I'm going to spend a little bit of time on my drawing. Um, this shape is is kind of a combination of a sphere and a cylinder. So I'll keep that in mind. Um, I, I I do want it to be pretty large sitting in here. So I'm going to go ahead and, and feel out sort of a, a, a an oval here for the for the kind of bottom of this shape, and then feel up in here into a um, uh, and just make sure that I've got it kind of square, and I kind of do. And again, I'm not, I'm not really totally most concerned about this, the drawing aspect of this, but it's nice to get it. It's nice to get it sort of accurate. I want this to feel this out a little bit more, maybe. And then, then I've got my handle. I'm going to feel out what that is. And I want to come kind of straight back down with it. Curve it around. That's kind of nice. All right. Feels pretty good. It's a little, kind of sits a little bit like so. All right, I like that. I'm just I'll you know, smooth out these edges. It's easier for me to start out with kind of a, um, thinking of it as planes, and then I can smooth out the edges. A little bit later. All right, so now I'm going to indicate a little bit of an idea of where the cast shadow is sitting. So I think that's enough to get me going. The other side of this handle. All right, so now my, my light, I have one light source and that, that helps me and it's coming from this direction. So I need to establish the, the light side and the shadow side of my object. So I'm going to come in with something kind of in the middle of what I what I um, what I think I see, and I want it to be this. I like this blue, but I want something a little bit more um, grayed. I think to begin with. So again, I'm just going to come in and... Now I'm really not going to know very much about this until I get a couple of other things going, until I get the light side and I get my background in. Um, this, this color and value don't, don't have a whole lot of meaning until I have some other things in relation to it, um, because that, that's what we're doing when we're, we're painting. We're always building the relationships. So I'm going to start there. I'm gonna, I think it's pretty okay. Um, now let's see something for my cast shadow, something a little bit darker. I'm just going to go ahead and mop that in. Now the, the light side of my little vase. And again, I, I want something that is definitely lighter, something a little bit warmer than this 
gray blue but I don't want to go too light that's a little too light I think I'm gonna I'm gonna settle on this sort of peach color Gonna get that in. Maybe even come along. You can already start to establish that sort of rim there. And same thing on the the handle. And if, you know, I'm not going to worry too much about the drawing at this point. I can always restate. All right, so now I have pretty firmly established a, a light side, a shadow side, and a cast shadow. So now I want to go ahead and get something in for my background um, before I go any further. And I want it to be... Um, a little bit cooler and darker on this side and a little bit lighter over here because I think that that will help me out. So I'm just going to come in um, and again I'm just kind of blocking this in just to get something established. I'm going to be adding on to um, these shapes with more variety of color different kinds of marks and so on. But just need to get. Okay, so I'm, as I move over here, I want something a little bit lighter and a little bit warmer. So yeah, that's a little bit warmer. I don't want to go overboard yet on this. It's a little pinker. It's fun to do just these simple objects. It's a really good way to um, um, practice your mark making with the pastel and practice uh, really observing the, the colors and the values. It's really good practice. Okay, I like that. That's, that's a good, you know, that's a good start. Real feels pretty solid. So now, um, now I want to really get a core, where um, the core is uh, where the where the light and the shadow are meeting. It usually makes a little um, darker area. And so, I'm gonna go ahead and. get that in and once I do that it's going to help um, pop out the reflected light as well. Okay, I want to start getting some other colors in, in here because I, I do see um, a lot of different color in this guy so bring in some, some purple just lighten this up a little bit and um, reflected light in there. And it's fun to get a little little playful with the color. Underneath here, I see some some warmth. So this is actually like an olive green. <coughs> Excuse me. Right down in here, it's even some yellow. It's kind of an ochre color. Play with that a bit. And um, I see, so this in, in the um, 
half tone here, some blue. It's kind of nice. Just get a little playful with it. Why not, right? Thinking about the edges that and soften the edges a little bit here and there. transition right there is just feeling a little tricky. I've got the kind of lip of the of the vase. I'm not, I don't think it needs to go too much darker. Alright, so now where am I? I want to start playing with the background just a bit more. Yeah, I'm gonna and oh I need to get this to go underneath just a little. Bring that core back over. Just playing around. All right. Okay, now I want to bring a little bit more atmosphere into my cast shadow. So I'm going to lighten up some of it play with the edge of it. Got a little little dark. I definitely want my cast shadows to always have you know nice luminosity to them. I'll play with that edge a little bit more as I go along and want to bring some dark right here where the the object is meeting the the table. I want it to be dark. This is my blue spruce. Very much loved, handy color. Okay, so that's that's getting there. Let's see. Okay. So now I'm going to play with I want to play with this some of these edges a bit. Right on the edge, right right where shadow meets light, it's always an opportunity to play with the color and really load up an edge with some color. There's always kind of a vibration that happens there. We kind of want to catch. And a little bit a little bit of lost and found edge right here, right here. Could, could definitely play with that lost and found edge. Now, I'm, this is the first time I've really reached for white. transition between that core and the light. I want it to be more gradual. Under 
other side of the sky. A little bit more happening in this in this form shadow. Really play around with it. with the color. Right. I'm going to play around with this background a bit. Get a little bit more of a play of warm and cool in here. And I need some thickness to this rim. It needs to have some kind of indication of a little. There we go. That's more like it. It's kind of interesting how dark I have to go to get this white base to appear to be white. <laughs> it's, it's, it's good. carving a little bit out of the shape there, and that's good to do. Look at all, all the color that I'm getting in here. It's, it's, it's pretty neat. All right. So now I want to, I need to get that background. And so, okay. Just kind of pressing hard. Just right. Okay. Sticks in. Just kind of carving out this shape a little bit. 
taking my time there and because I you know I kind of want it to be nice. So I mix the background, I'm mixing these different there's blue and some yellow. Right here, it's a little, there's a little sharp edge that I just want to, that cast shadow is really strong right there. Just kind of want to get that in there and there's a, then the, the, the face kind of dips down just ever so slightly right there. I just want to say that. It feels like it's an important part of the contour of it. So I'm going to get that and then right here where it meets this this handle meets the shape it's also pretty dark so I'm going to go ahead and um, get that and then this this core wraps around down here a little bit more than I've got it okay now this handle I just want to smooth out those edges of it I've got it kind of outlined right now I don't, I don't really want that because the rest of it isn't like that Taking my time on this just a little bit. A little, there's a little, little bit of drawing, a little bit of um, finesse here. It's be nice to to spend a little time on. Get in there a little bit with the, the pastel stick. And get that shape kind of designed. Just going to come in and soften it. Okay, so let me just think about where that's all headed. I'm going to blend some. I've got some different colors in the back. I just want to nicely, smoothly blend them together, just in this case. And here, get that edge the way I want it. This one. So one thing that I really would like to do, I want the, the top up here to just a little bit darker in value. It's just kind of a little extra something. Right here I've got a little lost and found edge. That's cool. It's really cool. And up here too. You know, you could spend lots and lots of time playing around with all these things. color in here. Just, it's fun. 
cast shadow. A little lighter. I think I'm just just about getting to where I want to be with it. I don't want to belabor it. I'm going to go ahead and get a couple um, ideas for highlights in here, which is always um, the fun thing. That it's fun to wait to the very end to get them in because they really kind of make things pop. Really need to have saved some uh, something really light. I didn't quite get it. But I think it has a lot of the qualities that I was after. Uh, let's see. Okay, I started it back up. Let's oh, okay. Try to run. Oh, it's 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 because it does that. It's it has a time limit. Oh, I see. Okay, we just have to, you know. Yeah, I'm kind of liking it. So it's good practice, really, really good practice. got a little bit of a painterly feel, but you know, we definitely can feel it's ceramic, can pretty much feel that it's white. Um, so that's, you know, all what good and that's, you know, what I was after. Get a little more playful with the background. A little more playful maybe with that cast shadow. It's a little still dark. Get a little more color in it. I'm going to soften up some of these edges because I feel like they don't really need to be that, that hard edged over here. It makes it fit with the whole of the piece. I'm going to let this, this edge be really, really lost and found right here. I think it's fine for that to be the case. I'm not liking that, right, that transition right there. I think this is cool. Just to let it be very lost and found. It is as I'm looking at it. Okay, 
So I'm just coming in and refining just a couple little things. But basically, I feel like it, it did what I wanted it to do. And I think it's a super great exercise to paint something white or something yellow or whatever, just a single object um, and try to capture capture its whatever material it's made of, whether it's metal, whether it's glass, and um, its, its overall color. So, so yeah, have fun with it, and I, um, thanks for watching. Hi there, thanks for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. It helps us out, and click the bell icon to get notifications. We have lots more coming for you.